Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel today. I am so excited for today's video. I know I'm a little late to the game on this one, but I really wanted to take some time to play with it. We are gonna be working with the Blend Bunny Dollhouse palette. I am so excited. My trifecta is complete. I do have the Blend Bunny Surge palette. This was the first Blend Bunny Cosmetics palette that I got. Quickly fell in love. I will make sure to, by the way, have the video uh, using that link down below. I did a live here on my channel. And then on Black Friday, I had to pick up the Blends palette. To be honest, I haven't cracked into this one yet because this one was being teased and I was like, oh, okay, uh, I am so excited to see this. And as the sneak peeks, not so slowly came out, I was really excited because this to me is like, it is kind of the quintessential perfect palette. Uh, that's what I thought about this color story. It is technically, I mean, I feel like this is about as like nude or neutral as Blend Bunny is going to get, but I love the fact that we have some color in here. So I'm going to pull this up here for you. This is the palette. If you have been living under a rock in the indie beauty community and you haven't seen this. Now, like I said, when I saw the color story of this, I was really excited because I think it is the perfect blend of everyday wearable neutrals. You have some cool tones, you have some warm tones, you have some greens, you know, I love a good green. And then you have like a couple pops of color. So I think that this is really a fun color story. And today we are going to be playing, creating not one, not two, but three looks. And to be honest, I've already created two of those looks. We are going to be creating the final look today. And my goal in these looks was to sort of embody, I think, all of the possibilities within this palette. And the first thing I did was I asked all of you on Instagram what you would like to see. So that is going to be sort of the cornerstone of this video because I knew I was going to be getting this content up late just because of my work schedule. It didn't allow me to like sit down and film this video in one big chunk. So I've actually been getting up a couple mornings before work early to film these looks. And like I said, because I was getting this up a little bit late, I feel like this video is going to be more hopefully inspiration of the looks that you can get out of this palette and of course my opinions on this palette if you feel like we have similar tastes in eyeshadows. Now if we haven't met before my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist and here on my channel I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now I am excited to take a deep dive into this palette with you today. And we're doing three looks, so I don't want this intro to be too long, but I do want to take just a moment to give a shout out to this amazing brand and the owner, Maggie. So if you don't follow Blend Bunny on Instagram and you're looking for inspo, do it right now. I'll make sure to have her Instagram link down below and the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Instagram and website, of course, in case you want to snag one of these palettes. So, uh, you know, it's one of these situations where it's like mind-blowingly good yeah. So I'm going to just, as I'm yammering on here, I probably will be popping up a couple looks from Maggie. And you can see here that she is a lover of blendable matte eyeshadows. And I think that that's really where this brand has gotten its toehold is in these beautiful mattes. But this palette and the Surge palette have shimmers in them. So I was really excited to try this formula a little bit more because there are more in this palette than in the Surge palette. And of course, if you know me, you know I love a good shimmer shimmer. Mattes are essential. A good matte sometimes is hard to find, but uh, I like a good little shimmer in my life. So I was excited to see that in this palette. But I do have to say that this brand has really had exceptional quality in my opinion. I do also have the brushes, which by the way, I will be using throughout this video intermittently. And the customer service has been just amazing. So between the quality of the brand, the aesthetic of the brand, and just the great customer service, I cannot wait to see what comes in the future for Blend Bunny. All right, that's my little moment. Now let's get into those looks. So by the way, all of this will be timestamped down below if you do want to hop around a little bit. But for the first look, we're going to cut to Kelly a couple days ago because the first look I want to show is the one that was most requested by all of you on Instagram. Well, good morning. I thought that I would take some time this morning to film as I get ready for work. And this morning I'm going to do a look featuring what was hands down the most requested and that was the greens. So in here we definitely have this beautiful like olive -y moment and then we've got like some khaki tones here. So this is going to be what we're working with. I'm going to go ahead and go through and do this whole row. I think it's really great that if you are in a hurry or if you are just lacking some creativity that day and you just want something really easy, you could very easily go into each of these rows and, you know, pick two shades, three shades, hell, all of the shades and use an down through that row and get a cohesive color look. So we're gonna be using all of the shades over here. I'm gonna to try to use all of the shades, so let's get into it. All right, so I just put a little bit of the Urban Decay Eden Eyeshadow Primer down. Uh, that way I've got a little bit of 
discoloration covered up and you guys know I use this one a lot so I will be wearing this all day and I'll be able to get a really good wear test out of this for all of you so we're gonna go through with the shade figure this is that like mmm I would say like olivey khaki shade and I'm using the blend bunny B4 Okay, that is a very pretty shade. It's, it is, it's honestly like khaki and olive like mixed together. So I'm just going above that into porcelain. It's just a nice like nudie tone and just working that through onto the brow bone. Okay, going through with the B3 and the Madame shade, that's the dark like deepening shade. And I'm just going to run that into my crease. I love this shade. It definitely has like, it's like a mossy espresso. It is very, very pretty. Ooh, she's cute. I like it a lot. Okay, I did decide to pack that into the outer corners just cause I'm really liking that shade so much. So now we're gonna go through with Chantilly. I have not, oh, this shade is just so pretty and I have not tried this yet. Okay, so I'm going through with the B4 and I'm just like blending where that Chantilly shade meets up with the dark. Wow, I have to say, I did not wet my brush. I did not wet my brush when I used that silicone applicator and this shade is just like, it's so vibrant and pretty. Okay, I love this. <laughs> I mean, this is probably like a basic glam eye look for anyone, but I think that the shadows blended really, really well. Everything looks really nice and seamless. There is just something wonderful about beautiful blendable shadows. I really love this color story. Now I'm going to go ahead and do some concealer, get this under eye situation under control, and then we'll finish up. All right, I know that I still have to use pin curls, which is the gold shade, and I thought about using it as an inner corner, but to me, it's just a little too dark for an inner corner shade. So now I'm trying to decide if I wanna like go through, I think I'm gonna do like an like a liner underneath, like a lower liner of the gold. And then I might pull in lace, which is that very white, that like icy shade right here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pull that one in. Yeah, I think I just want something with like a really bright pop and then we'll do a little like gold liner underneath. I decided to first go through with the Urban Decay 24-7 Amber Liner just in my lower waterline. I think that's gonna go really well. It's a little bit darker than this lace shade, but I think it will definitely work to kind of like get a nice little pop of gold underneath the eye. Actually, these two, so I did, by the way, use Fix Plus on this brush, but uh, the Amber Pencil and the lace shade really, they're very very close to each other but i did want to wet the brush just so i have like a really molten liquidy formula to work with here you probably are not going to be able to see that uh, i do plan on taking some pictures with my camera when i'm done here so if you do want to see in detail it'll be up on instagram i keep beauty real all right i will say that the placement of this gold is very subtle but the color of the gold is not like this is very sheeny, shiny, beautiful. Pen Curls is just a beautiful, like, ambery gold. It's not like a overly yellowy gold. It's very beautiful. I love this shade. So now I'm just gonna pop a little bit of lace on the inner corner. Let's go ahead and go through with the Blend Bunny B2 brush. And I'm just gonna use this dry because I don't need it to be like crazy pop. And so this shade, since it's almost like a very pale, 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 yellowy white with that like yellowy gold reflect. This goes really well with this whole row of, of colors. So it's a good pairing. All right, here we have our green look. I hope you all enjoy it. I know I'm going to all day long and I hope you don't mind that I'm not like doing a full face because I am headed to work. I'm just gonna be throwing on a mask. So what is the point? All of these shades blended 
beautifully. I know that I'll be using the Chantilly shade a lot. This whole row I'm probably gonna be using a lot, so I really enjoy this. We can get back to other Kelly. <laughs> All right, I feel like this could be like a fan fiction moment, like Hagrid goes to the spa. <laughs> my hair. Sorry for the hair. It's early. I thought maybe I would curl it, just add a little wave to my like slept on natural hair, but Jeremy's still sleeping and I didn't want to have to like do noisy stuff in our master bathroom. But anyway, so I've obviously put on these collagen hydrogel under eye patches. These are from Earth Therapeutics and uh, I feel so soothed and comforted. And I totally stole this idea from Danny from Scars to Stars. Uh, the one time I was watching and I was like, wait, are those eye patches? That is so smart. So I just happen to have these in my drawer here and I'm like, all right, cause we're gonna be doing a very dark, deep, smoky eye. So I thought, well, I'm gonna put these on, give myself some hydration, a little perkiness this early in the morning and uh, also help kind of hopefully block from some of the fallout. All right, we're getting chatty. I'm waking up here, people. So uh, for the base for this look, I've gone through with the Danessa Myricks Color Fix. I mix equal parts of two and four. So that is what is all over my lid. Uh, all of my other eye bases are a little bit lighter. And for this like deep, dark, smoky eye, I didn't wanna have like too bright of a base. So we're just gonna be brave and go right in with the black people. <laughs> so we're going in with this shade Stitched, which is the, what I would say is true black in this palette. So I am taking stitched on a B1 and we are just going to create uh, our main shape and a base to lay our beautiful shimmer over the top. I am going in with the Sigma E36 blending brush. If you watched my favorite makeup brushes video, you know that this is one that I can't live without. I just find as I'm getting older, this 40 year old face has some like my eyelid is a little bit puffy and a little bit loose. So if I go in with a more densely packed brush like this and I try to like really get in here sometimes this area can get kind of skippy it's sort of like just from the skin moving so I like to take a fluffy brush and just go over the edges here just to you know blend this in a little bit more I really like these for placing the color and like getting that initial blend but when I'm working in this area that's like just a like the bottom of the hood of my eye, let's say. Uh, I just find that I like something that's like a little bit more squishy. It's got a little bit more move. Okay, hi. Uh, if you notice, there's a little bit of a hot mess over here. <laughs> I started going in with the plume shade and it is just so pigmented that as I was like blending, it just started getting like higher and higher and higher. So we're back. I'm going more for this. So we're gonna start <laughs> with the plume shade. Uh, by the way, I've switched to the B4 brush this shade is so, so pretty. It is like a purpley, burgundy, oh, it's so yummy. So we're just gonna lay this down. This was like one of those situations where I tried to like wipe it off. Uh, the only problem is with color fix, like the base is so strong that then I just, I just had like a, a stark line. So <laughs> you sometimes you just gotta start from scratch peeps and that's okay. All right, so I'm taking a smaller brush and taking Rouge, which is the shade just above that. Just taking a little bit of this to kind of like blend out. Like I said, these shadows are very, very pigmented. Uh, I mean, they're buildable, but like they, they're they so like blendable that, you know, you can like really kind of go, go far if you aren't careful. So I've switched back to the B4. I just kind of like wiped off my brush, but I'm switching back to that to just kind of go through here and really blend all of this out. And then just taking the B5 and really like blending out that edge. This was, is still more happy, I think just because the skin on this side is like over it. So it's all good. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and go through with Harlequin. This is this like black glittery shade. I'm very excited to use this one, I think. I'm gonna start by using my finger. We'll see if I can get an accurate enough placement with this to just go right over the lid. And I think I'm gonna keep the inner and outer corners like just with the dark matte. Oh my gosh, this shade is so pretty. And I, f oh, I mean, it is like, soot and sparkle all at the same time. So I have a situation, 
I have a situation to clean up here. I'm just gonna take these off and sharpen up the edges. I'll be right back and we can finish out this look. Makeup is done. By the way, if you're curious about anything else that's on my face, I will have it linked down below. I have to say, well, first of all, those um, eye patches on this side, it gave me like a little like crinkle. So I'm not in love with that. I think I need to like place them lower next time, but that's okay, you know, you live and learn. So now we're gonna go through and do the lower lash line. Now, I think I just want a very like subtle lower lash line. I'm considering taking my liner and just like creating a little bit of like a cat eye in here. We'll see, we'll see what I do, but I just want to like add a little something soft to the lower lash line. It's a little bit more purple than the rouge shade, that pinkier shade. I don't know, to me, it's just a bit more subdued. All right, so now that I have that shade underneath my lash line, I'm just taking this E36, I've wiped it off on a towel, but I'm just gonna run that with no extra product, like just right along this edge. I don't want it to be like razor sharp. It just looks, it just looks like a little bit more blendy. So before I go through and do my lashes and liner, I'm gonna take a little bit of this pretend shade. This is this like iridescent, I would say like duochrome, and I'm just gonna pop a little bit on the inner corner. This I think actually has some vibes like uh, the Ozma highlight. Probably could have used this as my highlight today. All right, here we have our final look. I love this. I was going to throw on some lashes because I feel like a dark, deep, smoky eye like this could really like benefit from a lash, but I just don't want to, I don't want to. And looking in the mirror, I'm like, I feel confident, I feel great. I'm gonna go to work and I feel like by the end of the day, lashes just start to like, they just start to irritate my eyes. And so most likely I would like rip them off at some point. And I don't wanna do that because this makeup looks so pretty. I love this eyeshadow. So now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the final look that I created with this palette for all of you. Like I said, I really wanted to take some time this week and use this, let you know my thoughts, and we'll get into those at the end. <laughs> Okay, so I was filming without actually pressing start. So I'm just gonna give you guys a little download of what I went through with, wow. So I went through with Undress and also the shade Plastic. So first Undress was just like laid down into the crease to kind of like set the primer, soften everything. And then I just did Plastic to create this like soft winged crease. So we're gonna move on now with the camera rolling. So I'm taking the shade Imaginary, which is the purple in the palette, and I'm just using this on a dry brush first. I could wet this, but I think I wanna leave it like not too intense. It's definitely a buildable shade. So when I first swatched it on my finger, it comes off a little bit sheer, which I think could be fun to play with, you know, if that's kind of what you want. But I'm just wanting, wanting somewhere in between sheer and like kick in the pants. So I'm just gonna just gonna go through with this uh, dry and it seems to be working. I am getting a little bit of fallout, but that's because I packed it on my brush. Okay, now right where those meet, I'm gonna take ee, the tiniest bit of cinched, which is that deep, deep, deep purple. And I'm just gonna put this right above the shimmer shade just to try to like blend out just a little bit. Uh, before I before I turn the camera on and I was talking to all of you, uh, I was just saying that I'm hoping to kind of like create a colorful but like soft look, you know, like colorful but in a soft way, I guess. So we'll see how this ends up. It looks like a soft cut crease, if that makes any sense to anybody. <laughs> and I'm just taking a little bit of that shade back over the top. It just got, kind of got lost in the blend. All right, now I'm going to try, I'm going to try <laughs> with my KJH and Spectrum uh, 22. Oh, and by the way, the one that I was using to pack the shade on my lid is the 20 from uh, KJH as well. So I'm gonna take this little liner brush and I'm going to dip into that shade tool. This one is so pretty. It's like a pink with gold reflex and I'm going to try to trace the outline of that orange wing. Okay, I don't even know if you guys will be able to see this, but it is just very lightly like 
if I hit the light right, maybe you can see it. So it's just like right above that wing shape. It's really fun. It's coming off as like more gold. Like when it hits the light, you're gonna see it as gold. And then the areas where, you know, there's like an indent, you'll see the pink a little bit, but it's very pretty. Okay, I've finished off the eyes. Uh, sorry, <laughs> but you're not gonna see a full, a full face. So you're getting the eyes today. I am so sorry, but I just wanted to get these looks up for everybody. And uh, I just, I'm looking at the clock and I'm like, I'm not gonna have time to get to work on time if I try to do the full thing. But I also just really want to have some time to take some up close pictures so that you can see the magic of that tool shade. So looking at this, I feel like we are looking good as is in all honesty. I, eesh, I am very hesitant to put much of anything on my lower lash line. So just to give a little bit of blur, I'm gonna use Hold Me from the palette. That's in the purple row, but it's like in that very top. So we're just gonna add a little bit of a dusting of this dusty purple. I just barely want to even see this. I almost want it to be just like right in the lash line because this edge is so crisp. I mean, you're probably not even gonna be able to see that. It's more, <laughs> in all honesty, it's probably more for me, but uh, I just wanted like a tiny little bit of softness of color, but I didn't want anything too much. So I'm gonna take that same tool shade and that's gonna be what we use on the inner corner. I'm gonna try it dry first. Let's see, let's see how this goes. I like that. I'm just kind of like softly kind of connecting the inner corner to that like outline that I did. All right, I am going to go ahead and put on some mascara and then I'll show you some up close footage. All right, I hope you enjoyed seeing the three looks that I created with this palette. I mean, I could probably do a 30 looks <laughs> with this palette. I've, I've really enjoyed using this palette. Obviously, you probably know from just watching these looks that I really do recommend and enjoy this Blend Bunny palette. I really enjoy my Surge palette as well. When I use the shimmers in the Surge palette, and there is only one row in there, I was having a hard time getting them to pick up. I don't know if it's just that I've gotten more used to using this shimmer formula, especially this bottom row. With the Surge palette, I found that I was having a hard time using a brush, um, and I know that Maggie said that really it's like fingers are best, but usually I'm not team finger, unless like it is today where I'm just like boop boop popping on a little bit. I just like the accuracy of a brush. I don't know if it's me or if it's, you know, that the formula got tweaked, but I feel like they're a little easier to use. And these shimmers in the top row, they are, um, several of them I would say are more like topper shades, but I would think a couple of them you could use, like these two on the outer edge are definitely colors that you could like pack on the lid. So I think you have a lot of options here. And I also think that just this color range that's in here is going to mean for a easier blend formula. I think in the Surge palette, uh, the row of neons is beautiful, it's bright, it's gorgeous, but they are a little bit on the drier side. So what I find is I like to use them with a bit of a tacky primer. Um, otherwise, if I like lay anything down and then try to like build the neon over the top, it doesn't even stick. It just like whew, comes right off. The one day I was creating look and I put one neon down and I was like, oh, I don't know, I kind of want to like have a different one. And I laid the other one on top and it just like dusted right off. So I think that that's just the nature of neons are a little bit trickier. And that palette too, I love my Surge palette. Like hands down, I just have realized that, you know, with the neons, I just have to make sure to have it over something tacky. So I think that if you haven't tried a Blend Bunny palette, this is a great way to start because these are very, like you could do everyday looks, you could do deep smoky looks, you can get some colorful looks out of this, which is kind of why I wanted to do a gambit of looks. So I hope that you did enjoy those. I'm very excited to play with this more. And if you know me, you will know that I'm not, <laughs> It's like a Goldilocks moment, right? Like I don't want a quad cause that's not enough options. But like if a palette gets too big, it's just too cumbersome. I think that this is like a perfect size. I think it could be just a little bit smaller just because uh, this doesn't fit in my drawer. That's really all. But like for how many shades you get in here, I think it's compact for how many you get. And I think that I can very easily pull this out and use this on its own for a beautiful look. I also could very easily use this in combination with my single shadow. So I am very excited to have this one. Did you pick this up? Please let me know. Uh, you will notice that I did not include swatches in this video. I just feel like this video is going up late enough that everybody has seen the swatches. I just figured it would be more helpful to show more looks and less time showing the swatches. But let me know if you disagree. I'm here for all of you. That is gonna be it for today. If you did enjoy this, if you did like seeing these looks, please don't forget to give this video a like. It really does help me out. I'm 
really excited to have this one. This was my first palette purchase of 2022, and I think it's a good way to start the year. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you really soon.